Hey MechWare, welcome back to Open Place MechWare 5. We are in HD 348-297, uh, which is the end, <coughs> or the beginning, beginning of a wonderful new career once this is over and the end of the campaign. Um, let's go ahead and uh, crack into it. It's Crucible, and that's what it is. It is a 100 difficulty, 400 ton mission. It's a kill all. Or be killed by all. And it's quite frankly a lot. There are 20 mechs in the first two waves. And it doesn't stop there. I'm going to do something a little bit different than usual. I'm going to save that RS for f uh, future missions just in case. And <clears throat> other than that, I'm only going to have, well, there is no future mission, is there? Hmm. I'm going to try this. Let me set up its uh, weaponry. I just like the sheer punch of uh, the Gauss rifles. And that's perfect. And if I get down to the small laser, I'm in trouble. Here we go. Not going to bother for a paint job. There, I was thinking like it's a multi mission. It's not. <clears throat> This is one of those ones where every shot really matters. Commander, I don't know how the hell they did it, but Comstar forces have arrived using a pirate jump point. You already have two dropships incoming. Prepare to engage the enemy. Copy that. Thanks for the heads up. You heard him. Lock and load. Exactly, my friends. Get back here, get back here. We don't need to be taking on two or three at once. And I fell down. That means I gotta start moving. Okay, 
Somebody's taking a liking for me. Come on, weapons fire. That way. Commander, I've located a now we got the long run. The base. I'm going to try and turn on the main power. Let's hope it still functions. Let's hope I can get up and get repaired. Get back in time. Whatever you did, Rihanna, it worked. Okay, Commander. Those defensive turrets should be online now. I strongly suggest you make your way to the upper terrace and prepare for more incoming hostiles. Those turrets should help you hold them off. Looks like there's a couple of mech repair bays too if you need them. Understood. Looks like the other mechs are all in good shape. <clears throat> Let's try to stop them slowing down on junk. I'd like it's to. It's incredible, the sheer size of it alone, and the mechs. I've never seen anything like them. I'm going to head deeper into the structure. As yeah, that's where we get in trouble. <clears throat> something massive at the heart of the facility. I want to check it out. All right, Rihanna, but don't take too long. From what Spears says, it looks like Comstar is going to throw everything they have at us this time, and I can't hold them off forever. Copy that. I'll be quick. Two more dropships headed straight for you, Commander. Roger that. I, could, oh, I wish I could have taken the time to beef up the uh, Night Star a little bit. Oh, still got a little bit of damage on the right torso. <clears throat> Shouldn't have come off target. You're the drop ship. No, I can't get up there. This is bad. I'm taking myself offline. And I can't seem to make the damn turns properly to get back into the fight. Look at this. Stumbling around like a drunken sailor. 
and I'm stuck on a building. Get out of the way. I'm compromised. I'm doing really bad. You fall back to higher ground. Take up position on the uppermost terrace. Okay, copy. like we're all in decent shape. For the most part, the uh, the next series, I uh, avoid combat as much as I can. <coughs> it works for me. Although that back mech has me really bothered. He's going to get creamed. I can't do what I normally would do and jump back and go get him because I got to be up here to get the repair and leave the other mechs. Commander, you're not going to believe what I just found. There's a memory core down here. I downloaded the data, scrubbing the memory core itself as I went. Yeah, he's clearly stuck down there. won't get his hands on the data. That is, as long as we make it out of here without being captured. I'm on my way up now. You need to hold these bastards off just a little longer. Roger that, Brianna. What's your ETA? I've got more enemies inbound. We need to evac ASAP. Five minutes, Commander. I'll meet you at the dropship. Okay, copy. They're all up here now? It. We need to hold the line no matter nope. what. See, I gotta fight my way through them. <clears throat> this is not gonna be good. Probably gonna lose this mech, that's for sure. Maybe not. The drill I got is back. Yeah, it's back. That might have worked out pretty good. Is it blocked to here? Why not? No. Silly, silly me. We need to get up here. I knew there wouldn't be much trouble. Kill confirmed. Let them fight their way through the turrets and all that stuff, and we'll take them over here by the dropship. It's 24 more mechs. Isn't taking any chances. You need to get the hell out of there as soon as you can. One, two, three. Three more minutes, Spears. That's all we need. <coughs> Heavy metal inbound. Aye, aye. I'm on guard. Not too bad a shape.
No. Here. Exactly. <laughs> so I tell them go stand here and they go that way. Left is the new right. Thirteen. This is Union class. Back up. Brianna, what's your ETA? Almost there. One minute out. Hurry. We can't hold these assault mechs off much longer. Ramming speed. You can if you just do what I tell you to do. Get away from the edge. They're gonna come up over here right at the end. Aye, aye. Before aye, that, though, they gotta take out all the targets and all that stuff. Okay, sir, you got it. Here it's just pound them as hard as you can. Aye, aye. Until the time is up. Time's up. Aye, aye. I'm on guard. Okay, Commander, I made it out. Engines are hot. Get to the Leopard as fast as you can and let's get the hell out of here. There we go. Copy that. Good work, Commander. Now let's get out of here. Uh, what is that? Five? Okay. 10,000 reputation again. Two PPCs. Two LRM20s. Now, if you wanted to go for salvage on this mission, there's a lot of it to get. But, you wouldn't get anywhere near good enough. You might get a, you know, couple, two, three of these, but... Because when you're going for fast kills, you go for center cockpits or heads. That would have been good. Ah. Uh, you can laugh, but that can save you. And the end damage, not so bad overall. Including for this guy. Who took barely any damage because he did the least. But he got four, and in theory, that's all I got too. So, I say in theory because I'm pretty sure I got more than that. But now we gotta let this run all the way out through the credits, or it used to have a bug. I don't know if it does, but you wind up crashing. And then you gotta do it again to go on. So. Hey, Commander. You know that when news of what happened here gets out, and it always does, one way or another, you're going to become a legend. You mean we're going to become legend? This entire outfit? You got that right, mate. One for all and all for one. The little Merc outfit that could took on Comstar and kicked their ass. Hmm. 
Hmm. We're bloody legends already, you ask me. Fahad's right. We make a hell of a team. Speaking of team, Spears has been waiting for a chance to talk with us. I'll patch him through. Spears, I've got the commander here. Hey, commander. Congratulations. That was some battle. I'm glad to see you made it out unharmed, for the most part, at least. We've come a long way since we first met. I had high hopes for you back then, being Nikolai's son and all. But you exceeded all my expectations. Can't think of another pilot or mercenary outfit I'd want to work with more. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate that, Spears. Wasn't sure about you in the beginning, to be honest. But you proved a valuable ally. And more importantly, a good friend. Thank you. Rihanna, being in the field again after all these years, you didn't miss a beat. And the data you siphoned from the memory core before erasing it, the data we now have in our sole possession, that's all thanks to you. Well, I did have a little help. <laughs> Indeed. We won't know exactly what we've gotten our hands on for a while yet. But I have no doubt that the data contains an untapped treasure trove of extinct knowledge that can benefit the entire atmosphere for decades to come. I sure hope so. Commander, I know we haven't discussed anything formal yet, but with the permission of Rihanna and yourself, I'd like IE to take stewardship of the core's data to help ensure that it's safeguarded and handled the right way, and to make sure it ends up benefiting as many people as possible. Yourself and IE included, of course. Without question. I'm no saint, but I do have good intentions in this matter. We're all gonna make a ton of sea bills with this discovery, Commander. That doesn't mean we can't accomplish a great deal of good in the process. When the time finally comes to share this information with the people, I intend to consult you and Rihanna every step of the way. You never hear from him again. Rihanna? You have my blessing, Sebastian. Good luck. Thank you both. And with that, I'll say goodbye for now. I'm sure our paths will cross again soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bit of a talk of that one, eh? Be full of himself too, you ask me. So, Commander, that just leaves one piece of unfinished business. I expect you noticed what was painted on the blast doors that led to the interior of the base. The Red Star? Yeah, I noticed it. It didn't look close to as old as the facility itself. There's no question it shares some resemblance to the Starlink crest, but it's different, unique. I've never seen it before. I don't think anyone has. No, I don't think so either. Your father had the coordinates of this place. He journeyed from somewhere further out in the periphery to get here. Then, for the first time, he made his way into the inner sphere. Stashing a pristine Star League mech along the way. We're thinking the same thing, Rihanna. Uh, thinking what exactly? I'm a bit lost here, mate. My father descended from the people who followed General Kerensky. Blimey, mate. You mean the bloke who took the Star League Defense Forces, along with most of their tech? out of the inner sphere, never to be heard from again. That's right. I also think there's more of them out there. And that one day, they'll be coming back. Wouldn't that be a spectacle? But, until that happens, what's next for us, Commander? Well, well we're not super rich yet, so it's business as usual, I guess. I'm going to try and skip at this point. Contracts. If it crashes, I'll just load right. back up again to the end. Now that that's settled, going to get back to work if you don't want story of my bleeding, you know what they say. The search for the truth. I'm hoping I can skip out of the, the uh, credits if I can. You'll know I'll be gone. If not, we'll be coming back and doing this again. Ah, okay, so it let me. I think. Cool, they fixed that. To be honest, I only had it happen one time a long time ago. Hearts Hill, 76 days is as far as we can go. And there is no add on. I'll repair one just to make sure. I said I'll repair one, but it's only 14 days, so obviously there is no add on. There's Tier 1's to be bought, no mechs, no pilots, gotta go.
And before I end this episode, I've got to get into a industrial hub and get Wicked some training to get rid of that. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Hold up a chicken. Heavy metal. Yeah. One of my favorite. Once I get a XL to jump into that, that'll be good. These mongooses aren't bad either. Um, I do need medium max because Kestrel Lancers start soon and I don't have many. I think I'll probably make that a uh, look-see for the next episode. I've got the J, but nothing smaller. And the very first mission for Kestrel Lancers is the training mission is a 200 ton. That's all you get. So that might be 275s in the Phoenix, and that, that'll do it. So we should stick to that. Let's go ahead and make this one at the, the end of this episode so I can start my newfound career off on a fresh foot. We'll, uh, we'll see you next episode. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and definitely come back for more. Hope is out.